All right, we're back to more gameplay. We're up against Gangplank Top. I'm going to use this match as an opportunity to try out Ravenous Hydra yet again. I'm really loving Ravenous Hydra. Like, when you get super fed, <laughs> you do, like, a crazy amount of damage. But I think we should be a bit more realistic this time. One thing's for sure, out of all the items I've been trying, well, multiple things, but in terms of Legendary, Spirit Shojin kind of just sucks on Darius, so... I'm not going to go in for that. I'm going to go in for regular Darius items, but for the initial portions of the game, we're going to be rolling with Ravenous Hydra or even Cleaver first item, and then going into one of them tank mythics. Okay, GP matchup. You guys know the drill. Don't want to mess with them too much. Unless I can cheese him with a level 1 hook. All in. He has Seapot too, so he should be able to get um, a lot of his health off. Yeah. Wasn't the worst thing in the world. We probably get all of his core pots there. And the cookie. Of course he has a cookie. My destination is clear. Try to chill for a bit. He does have a barrel primed for us. Oof. Nice, we got that cue off. Perfect. Okay. I think we're in position to go for a kill here once I get my W. I should have honestly just followed through with the flash. I also had, yeah, I, I hesitated too much there. I should have just flashed after him because the Nimbus will let me get off the old attacks I need to finish him off there. So yeah, that one was my bad. Unless he kind of creeps it here. Never mind, he has another orange. I, I wanted to go for a flashy, but I did a bit too. Bit out of order. Man, um, I'm not gonna lie, the winter is really cold, so my hands are cold too. Yeah, he's just chugging. Can he run out of mana at some point? <laughs> oh. Gotta love the lane, huh? Gonna be real tough to avoid that, but we did it anyway. Hmm. See if we can force a fight on level five. Death by my hand. Perfect. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, I would honestly recommend using your ghost not like I did, and just saving it for later so you can actually, um, you know, use it for a full all-in. But we used it to basically peel away all the sustain, and then we went for an all-in. That little thing where we just lost his flash toast was basically just him griefing by underestimating our hook range and going for a bad Q. Now, pickaxe here is quite risky to begin with, but the thing is, right, we got a ghost coming up. I also got my ultimate, so if I catch him, I should be able to just one-shot him quite quickly here. I might just sit on the pickaxe for now, though. You kind of need a little bit of delicate wave clear against GP. Which I'd rather have. Damn. 
That's the kind of stuff I was talking about. Righto, let's recall. I think yeah, I'm gonna stick to just the pickaxe. Actually, no, I'm getting super fed, so maybe not. Hmm, let's see what's going on here. Stay alert. For this kind of team, let's see what works well. Iceborne Gauntlet theoretically works fine against the GP, especially. Hmm. Do I want to guess the rest of their team? That's the question. And the other question is, would I get more from Heartsteel? Because Heartsteel gives you so much HP that, like, you're practically just unkillable. And that HP also goes into, like, your Q healing, which is amazing. But, yeah. I went for the Vampster first so I could actually heal back from his poke. I'm not going to have the opportunity to replace that ward at a later time, so just put it down early. I know it's a bit of a waste, but what can we do? Let's wait on our ultimate for another all-in. Kind of want to do this wave, though. Let's use his ultimate. My destination is clear. I hit the minion instead of the barrel. That's sad. Alright, we gotta just auto-attack the minions because we're losing too much damage. Losing too much health. I do not tolerate cowardice. Barrels. We catch up to him. Okay, flash. Not sure what was up there. Um, I bounded my E to like quick cast with indicator, but it just wouldn't go off. It was just so weird. Let's kill this barrel here. And the ward. Nice. Question is, can I one combo him? Yes. Is that enough for Ravenous? Not yet. Let's get another plate. Should get on its own. Recall. Please. There we go. Perfect. A bit more than perfect, but that's good. I don't think I can think of an instance where it's bad to have more gold. Unless you're the support. And you're actively taking kills for your team, then it's bad. But anything else? Pretty good. Okay, we have this now. Our healing off of the minions should be greater and. Once we stack it up, it should be quite insane. Maybe we can go for some sort of messed up heal tank build with Gore Drink. <laughs> that would be kind of crazy, but nah. Thing is, I do actually need the a tank mythic, because this is a pure damage item that doesn't give us any sort of tankiness, right? I know, I know, Omnivamp, but that's not enough. That's not nearly enough. We need meat, which this item does not provide us with. Okay. Wait for me, so weird. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not possible to freeze with this. I'll, I think I can tank the minions a bit better, though. Because I have the Omni Vamp, right? Okay, let's pull it back. Boom. 
I don't think I can help it. I gotta clear this all in one go. Yeah, I can't freeze with this. Wait, doesn't he have his flash used already? Yes, he does. We gotta abuse that ravenous hydra damage to uh basically just run over him. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. We almost have a fully stacked just off of that. And we can go back to base. Oh no, he's back in lane. It's gonna be weird. He's got Essence Reaver already. Mm. Hate to stick around like this, but we kind of have to. Can't give him more plate gold. I'm going to go for the Grump here. Oh, we got a plant. The Grump is no longer necessary. If I don't take too much damage while walking up to him, I should be able to kill him easily. That was smart. Use the barrel as like a ward. I got more move speed than him. Yeah. I will not rest. Ten seconds and you're dead, pal. Like that wave clear? I know I do. <laughs> he got completely styled on. Let's go for some jungle camp so we can get the hard steel like instantly instead of having to wait for it. Is crab up? Unlikely, let's be real. I guess not. Strength above all. Please get oh my god. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this gives way too many like stats, man. Hmm. Oh they nerfed it. They nerfed, right? Because they, they hot fixed it, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did they upgrade Juck Show then? Oh yeah, they did. They did buff this. So it gives more resists. Hmm. Now I'm thinking I'm going to go for this. Because they buffed it, right? More resistance. 15% is way better than 10. Okay, choice to make this or this. Um, <laughs> what a weird know. But yeah, let's go for uh, Juck Show the Protein. Just try it a bit. Um, the main issue I've ran with the item is that... Um, it doesn't stack up fast enough, right? So we're going to have to go for like a pretty beefy build after this. I'm thinking Sterax and then full tank for the last two items. Stay alert. thing is this does give so much like just straight damage that it's kind of <laughs> worth it. I'm not a fan of losing that one CS. They're basically playing around me, so I think I have free reign to do whatever I want. Up the top, anyways. <laughs> Isn't that insane? <laughs> And now it stacks up. Oh, see what I'm talking about. Let's go for the turret here. Now, how fed is the rest of the team? Nice. 
big chunk of change. <clears throat> I let him steal that. When he appeared, I was just too excited at the prospect of having another person to kill that I completely dropped the camp. <laughs> uh, we gotta fix my focus. She's getting ganked here. No? Hello, bro. Hello, brother. Okay, let's go for the crab here. One more, I'll do it. We've got a bunch of gold. Let's spend it on boots. What boots work here? Tobbies, I might need uh, magic cruises for the cost at some point. But that's why we're going full tank for this. So at this point, from the jock show item. Wait, this is still bugged because it says st each stack grants three up to eight, which we'll ignore, but I think it means up to 12. So 12 flat and then 15% extra. I think we're good to go. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm pretty sure I catch up to him anyway. Never mind. How boring. We did miss our hook, so it's our bad. Also, man, we are getting kind of dumpstered. Night Harvester isn't a great choice as a buddy. <laughs> also, why is GP so far pushed out? Isn't that a little crazy? Can't really walk up here or do anything aggressive without knowing the location of our teammates. Like if it's a dragged out fight where I, you know, get to pick them up one by one by one. Also look at them planning to trap me there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if it's them coming one by one by one, I can definitely destroy them. But if it's all of them at once, nope. A big part of spell pushing is basically just the macro of figuring out where every single enemy team member is. So now I could just go towards the Draven, one shot him, maybe kill the Hecker him too, but then the Kassan shows up. Then the set shows up too, then, you know, too much, too much, too much. Let's get deep board going. Here. Go for a flank here. I don't want to shot everyone and everything. Nice. I, I get a pretty solid cutoff here. <sighs> or I don't. If the fight gets like this. Yeah, screw this. I'm just gonna go for the mid turret. This is a waste of my time. I do not tolerate we need results. <laughs> the nerf might have been minor, but I definitely feel the different amount of wave clear. Okay, it's mid turret gone. Good. They actually kills him there. Bit surprising, but let's hope it's no longer a surprise. Gonna recall, grab a pickaxe, and then roll over to the dragon to claim it. Um, I say, as our president, because I'm the most fed person, we should go for this dragon. She is not dead. Never mind, I spoke too soon. That's Hecker and Molt gone. Good. I can one shot him. Provided the set doesn't just pick me up and throw me away. You thought I'd be done there? Nice. I guess it's better to go for the turret, though I really want that dragon. It's part of the democratic process. No 
Have they even damaged me? Like, you know, for the Jokshot to, like, come into play? Nice. Okay, we're getting the Dragon 2. This is perfect. Any potential kills around? Doesn't seem like... Oh, how do you die? I'm just gonna not talk. <laughs> uh, um, What do we need here? We need a ton of move speed, so I'd go for DMP. Yeah. The resistances are actually stacking up. Quite nice. I don't think I need a dedicated the magic versus item at this point. Jokshur seems to be more than enough for this Kassadin. Hello. Foolish brother. Well, actually, here's Foolish Brother. I feel like an anime boss battle, like straight up. Yes, I am that guy. <laughs> I am that guy, pal. <laughs> also, what is happening? All right. Daddy's got to get back to base and take care of business. And by business, I mean stop this lane from crumbling. I love when supports stand around you while you carry and pretend they're playing the game. <laughs> Alright, Jake, no offense. <laughs> I will not rest. Not the worst thing in the world to silent like this. It's a good break from killing. Kinda need the break because we don't have sums. Bro, please just give up. Thank you. I got this one, I just feel bad from killing him over and over again. Good damage. Let's heal it back up. Uh, it's not a cannon wave, so I gotta just kinda lose health for it. Tax speed's not enough there? Oh. That sucks. Let's see how many we can take on the ones. Come on. Use the power of teamwork and friendship. Well, since they don't want to, I'll just pill for this entire jungle. Oh. Could you stun him? Not the stun I was thinking about, but okay. I was kind of thinking she should do it like earlier before he jumps on her. I have to look at the footage and see how many stats I had during that fight. 
All right, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.